Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Um, I'm gonna give y'all a few minutes. <clears throat> Excuse me, give some of them a few minutes to come on here. Um, I want to come on here live. This is impromptu. This is unedited. This is live, straight, no retakes. Just me coming on here to tell y'all some great, exciting news. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Well, the news is not about me. <clears throat> Excuse me. The news is not about me. The news is about you. But I'm going to throw myself in there too. Um, today, I was preparing myself and uh, the song just kept resonating in my spirit. Tears so sweet to trust in Jesus. And so, <clears throat> I was mentally saying that throughout the whole day. And just a while ago, just a while ago, I just heard, not only don't give up, but don't give up because as soon as it's all over, you're going to get what you be asking God for. So many times the devil tries so badly to make us give up and to make us give up before change comes. Have you noticed? To give up before change comes. But think about it. If change comes and you're not there, then there's no change. In other words, you died before change come, before change came. But if we don't give up, if we outlast the storm, change is going to come and change will propel us to where we need to be at. Change will prepare us. Consistency and trusting in Jesus, that's the key thing. Obedience and trusting in Jesus. If we can trust in Jesus and hold on, Change is going to come and we will outlive the storm. We will outlive the pain. We will outlive the agony. We will, we will outlive the disappointments, the hurts, the abandonments, the grief, all these things. Hmm. That's why it is so sweet to trust in Jesus. We can't rely upon our own ability and we're not going to rely upon our own ability. But we're going to rely upon his ability and his strength and his promise, not ours, his. That's what's going to help us. So we just hold on and listen and to remember what God promised us. So in other words, don't abandon the vision. Don't abandon your purpose just because there's a temporary discomfort. And that doesn't mean that it's a light discomfort. No, some things can be painful, but compared to where I'm headed, it's light. So let's hold on to what God promised us. Let's hold on to God's unchanging hand. And no matter what we go through, no matter what it looks like, God has the final say so. So you hold on to what God told you and don't give up. Be blessed.